Good afternoon. My name is Christy Schweiger. I'm the Education Coordinator at the Moosta Museum and Art Gallery. And today we're going to look at an exhibit that we um, provided in the fall to school groups. And it's quite timely because tomorrow is the 66th anniversary of the 1954 plane crash over Moosta. Now, how do you do uh, hands-on art activity related to this? It's kind of a sad, tragic event, but one of the things that uh, I was looking at in regards to this tour is how fingerprints were very important uh, to the process because a number of the victims uh, were not identified without, and they needed uh, fingerprints to um, do the process. So um, in today's activity, I want students and whoever is participating in this project to look at their fingerprints a little bit more closely. There are um, all kinds of varieties of fingerprints that we have. We have whorls and we have um, um, things that I've provided on a list that you can look at once you have your fingerprint. Uh, with today's activity, you need um, something that you can print your thumbprint from. Um, so I have an ink pad, uh, a pencil, uh, a variety of pencil crayons, paper, and if you have a scanner attached to your um, photocopy machine or your printer at home, uh, it's really good once you have um, done a thumbprint of your, your thumb uh, that you can scan it and blow it up as big as you can so you can have a better look at um, your fingerprint and what type you have. So what I've done is I've taken an initial copy of my fingerprint uh, from that. Um, I put it on my scanner and I blew it up on my computer. Um, so I will provide that um, little bit of detail and it's also in the hands-on activity um, steps. And from that, what I would like you to do is to um, draw out on a large piece of paper an oval shape. It doesn't have to be perfect but um, it represents what your thumb uh, will look like. And from that, then you can um, very, very lightly uh, draw in your lines of your thumb, how it looks, and um, we're gonna use that as our lines on our um, creative writing part of the activity. So once um, we've had a um, the, those initial lines. You can see it right here. Then, um, because it's a self-portrait, it is about yourself, um, you need to think of questions like, how would people learn more about you? So your first off is your name, what activities you like to do, how many members are in your family, if you have any pets. Um, so what I've done next is I've used pencil France. And then I'm starting to add that to my thumb. So um, this is a great way to um, learn about your thumbprints and also to do a little bit of creative writing um, in this activity. So once you've finished your um, self-portraits of your thumbs, um, please share them on our Facebook page so we can see that you participated and um, give us a thumbs up and any other activities that you would like to share with us at the Moosha Museum and Art Gallery. Thank you.